Hi, I'm John Beeline, and welcome to Beeline's Blueprint. Uh, excited this week to talk about Luca Garza and what a great start he's off to and why he is. He's doing four things really well. Number one, what he's doing a great job of this year early, stretching the floor. He's shooting threes. And it not only makes Luca better, but it also will make his teammates give them much more room. Secondly, you know, he's playing really big. You watch him and he plays with his elbows away from his body and that allows him to play at full seven feet. And that's really hard for people to guard, especially when you have that soft touch he has. He works very hard at pre-positioning. Number three, when you do early work, we call it, then it minimizes the moves you have to do after you get the ball. And then last, he plays wide. He gets that body on people, keeps it away, and then he's just one or two moves from getting either to the foul line or scoring the ball. So this is a game he has scored 41 points against Southern University, but I can see him having success with this same thing in the Big Ten. So a little bit new for him, but it will really make a difference, not just for him, but really open up so many things for the Iowa offense, the ability for the big man to pick and pop. You know, he's really stretching the defense. That's a, almost a four point play, we call them, because of the distance but it really gets the gaps bigger, really gonna be helpful to Iowa's other players. They're gonna have so much room if he's not underneath the basket. This is what we call a duck in, where he's gonna come in, he's gonna duck in and be very physical, but look where he gets the ball. He gets it right where he can go either way. He's got the baseline, but he's also got middle. Sometimes you post up too low, you only have one way you can go. He can go either way with this one. When you have wide shoulders and you're a big man, this is such an easy move without dribbling the ball. But he uses his dribble to get closer to the basket. Now he's going to show one shoulder and then reverse and go to his other shoulder, creating separation from the, the man who's guarding him. Right, this one where you say he's he playing really big. So watch what he'll do when he gets the ball and it's immediately up where you can see his armpits right away. And now he's playing big. Too many young players will play with their elbows in close to themselves and it makes them smaller. He's every bit of seven feet something here. Now be able to shoot that shot. He doesn't have to bring it down. It's quick. You almost have to be stepping on his toes in order to get to it. And if you step on his toes, then he's going to drive by and use that big body. This is what Iowa does so well is they're going to run him out on a fast break and he's going to get down there and, and traditionally you always have a guard back. Southern has their guard back, but because he's run, you got a matchup that is not good for Southern. And it's just an easy bucket. Early position, look, he's got a smaller guy on him. And now, they're, once again, the feeding here is exceptional. Now he goes to a strong hand and that hook right there, you can make that hook over and over again. It's virtually unstoppable if you can learn to do it. Just take your hat off to him and say, you're a better player than we are.